Hello, this is Tech Happy Life with Dr. Mike Brooks. In today's episode, we're going to tackle a frequently asked question, how much screen time is too much? The holidays are upon us, and if you're a parent with a child or teen, chances are, as a Christmas present, they're asking for some form of screen. It could be a Nintendo Switch or a new smartphone. And with all this downtime that the holidays bring, you can guarantee the kids will be on the screens quite a bit. Before we go into how much screen time is too much, you first might wonder, how much time are they spending? So the data come from numerous sources, but by one measure, kids ages two to five are spending three to five hours per day on screens. Kids ages eight to 10 are using media for about five hours per day, but are exposed to eight hours. And then for adolescents, what they're finding is nine to 11 hours of screen time per day, and this does not include time spent on screens for homework. You might say, how is this even possible? And here's where a big caveat comes in. Um, in Common Sense Media, where they collected some of this data, they'll double count the screen time. So if a teen is watching a show on TV while he or she is on their smartphone, if they spent one hour doing that for both screens, they would count two hours of screen time during one clock hour. But overall, it's a lot of screen time and it just seems to be going up. So I hate to disappoint by saying this right from the outset of this video is there's a big it depends when we're trying to answer the question of how much screen time is too much. You will hear a range of opinions on this topic with some professionals saying this is overblown, there's not too much time being spent, and then other folks will say there's way too much time being spent already and kids are spiraling down a drain into oblivion. I think the answer is probably somewhere in the middle, but still there's a big it depends. What I mean is it depends on a number of variables. The first one I'll go into are the characteristics of the person. Some of the characteristics of the person include their age, sex, their temperament, and then a host of personality variables. Then there's the context variables. These could include, is the person by themselves? Is it online with many other people involved? Are these people online friends or strangers? Or even, are they playing a game with people in the room with them? Another one is the characteristics of the media itself. And by this, I mean, is it a video game? Is it social media? Does it have high violence content? Is it pornography, sexting? Is it cyberbullying someone? Or is someone reading negative messages about them? Is it watching YouTube videos of someone building or creating or teaching them something, or are they watching people get slimed? Another one is creating versus consuming. Are they playing a video game or are they coding and creating their own video game? Are they reading blogs online or are they writing blogs? Are they watching YouTube videos or are they creating their own videos and posting them to YouTube? You can see that basically there's an endless number of variables involved here. This might be a little debatable, but I would not necessarily put screen time in a different category than any other activity. I would argue, you know, if you're reading 10 hours a day and not getting exercise or having in-person social interaction, it's just like having too much screen time it's too much of a good thing. So we want to be flexible in this idea about screen time to allow more time for more beneficial and pro-social activities. For instance, sleep. Even if a kid is staying up late coding every night, creating a game, if they're only getting four hours of sleep to do this, I would say that's out of control. We need to draw a line here. In the same way, our need for movement and exercise is always there and we need to meet that need to be happy and healthy. Another area is in-person social interaction. I've gone into this before, but it is fundamental to our happiness well-being and our physical health. 
that we spend quality time with one another and a great time to do that is over the holidays. I know you want an answer in terms of hours and I'm gonna throw one out there with the caveat that it's up for debate, but I would say for school age kids and teens, one to two hours of recreational screen time during the school week and then maybe two to four hours of recreational screen time on the weekends and that's a soft target not a rigid hard line and it's okay to binge every now and then whether it's video games or watching holiday shows or football it's just we don't want it to be too frequent or to become a habit there you have it and this message applies to all of us as we enter the holidays so it's fine for our kids and teens to be on the screens and for us to be on the screens we might be getting that big new tv for christmas but more importantly we need to set some boundaries and carve out time to spend some quality time with one another and the holidays are a perfect time to do this this has been Tech Happy Life with Dr. Mike Brooks, and I look forward to seeing you in the new year.